Great search power comes with great UI responsibilities. In this video, we're going to cover everything from presenting an easy to spot and fast search bar to... <laughs> you know what, son? Great search bar. <laughs> Once you have a clean data set and a perfectly fine-tuned index configuration, what else do you need? Well, you need to take care of your users by providing them an awesome search UI. In this video, we'll start with a pretty unpleasant search UI and turn it into something awesome in terms of search experience. Note that almost everything mentioned here can be implemented effortlessly with the Algolia instance search library. The search bar. It's becoming the main point of entry to find and discover content on website and apps. It has become so important that we need to make it less timid. Increase its size and place it dead center on the top of your page. Use common search bar elements like the magnifying glass and a placeholder text. Actually, let's think a bit more about the placeholder text. Users do not always know what they want to search for and it might not be that obvious to them from the context. They are sometimes hesitant to use your search and providing them guidance is quite easy by just leveraging the placeholder text of the search input. So instead of the default search dot dot dot, a more insightful search for products, categories or brands would help guide your users to engage more with your search. Here is Algolia's raison d'être. In today's online search, we don't want our users to press the enter key. Give them results right away. Algolia performs search faster than you can type or think. The enter key only adds friction to the search experience. Replace the enter key pattern with an Azure type search experience. On every single keystroke, all results are instantaneously refreshed, which makes the search experience more dynamic and interactive. Now that we have relevant results at each keystroke, end users need to spot right away which hits are the most relevant to them. The trick to that is to be very mindful about the amount of information displayed on each hit. At the moment, as you can see, search results are very dense. There is a lot of text displayed in a small amount of space, which makes all this information very hard to process. Add some structure, space, and hierarchy between elements, and display only what is strictly necessary. Use snippeting to show only the most relevant part of a description, and adapt to your screen real estate. Even after making our results more readable and pleasant to look at, it's still not good enough for our users, because it might be hard for them to understand why all these products appear. Where in the results does the query match? Why are all these results relevant to my query? The solution is to leverage Algolia's highlighting feature. With a little CSS magic and using the highlighting attribute in our API JSON response, we will be able to provide instant and crystal clear feedback on the relevance of each result. When searching for spandex, why not? There are some results without any highlighting here. Are these results showing up by error? Well, it turns out it's not a mistake because they are all containing the material spandex. The issue here is that we are not showing the material attribute in our hits, so there is nothing to highlight. To avoid any confusion, we should display all searchable attributes on any hit. Searching with text is a great start, and sometimes it's all you need. In general though, a good practice is to provide additional UI elements that let users filter their results to refine their search or to drill down, if you will. We can now filter by brand, category, price, making it a breeze to find exactly what we are looking for. An easy trap to fall into is to have too many facets displayed on screen. The downside with that is you have to scroll through a very long list to find the right facet or only show a small subset of them, which is not a great experience. Instead, let's make those facets searchable. This way, we can directly search into the value we're interested in, which is both much faster and more convenient. 
We've already done a lot of work to make sure that the first items displayed on screen are super relevant to our users. But what if we wanted to give them the option to continue browsing beyond the first 20 hits? Then we have two ways to do that, either with a classic pagination at the bottom of the page, or we can also allow them to use infinite scrolling to automatically load more results as they go through the page. Now we can easily browse all the products when we want to. Last but not least, we need to make sure that our search page is responsive and works great on mobile devices. In our case, there are a couple of things that we can take care of. First, we should hide all facets by default and we could add a toggle button displaying them only when we need it. The second thing we could do is reducing the size of each result in order to display more product on the limited screen space that we have on mobile. So that's it, some useful UI tips to make sure that your users will have a great time searching through your e-commerce web store.